This is a Trident Disabilities audio archive recording for New Disabled South, read by Angela Luttrell on April 23, 2024. North Carolina House Bill 583, Support Job Opportunities for People with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. Sponsors, Sarah Crawford, Democratic Party, District 66, Donna White, Republican, District 26, Cynthia Ball, Democratic, District 49, Maria Cervania, Democratic, District 41, Rosa Gill, Democratic, District 33, Carolyn Logan, Democratic, District 101, Marsha Mori, Democratic, District 30, Lindsay Prather, Democratic, District 115, Stephen Ross, Republican, District 63, Frank Sossaman, Republican, District 32, Bill Ward, Republican, District 5, Hugh Blackwell, Republican, District 86, Eric Ager, Democratic, District 114, John Bradford, Republican, District 98, Ashton Clemens, Democratic, District 57, Joe John, Democratic, District 40, Tim Longest, Democratic, District 34, Ben Moss, Republican, District 52, Renee Price, Democratic, District 50, Caleb Rudow, Democratic, District 116, Diamond Staten Williams, Democratic, District 73, David Willis, Republican, District 68, Kristen Baker, Republican, District 82, Vernetta Alston, Democratic, District 29, Alan Buonsi, Democratic, District 56, Carla Cunningham, Democratic, District 106, Yao Lui, Democratic, District 21, Marvin Lucas, Democratic, District 42, Garland Pierce, Democratic, District 48, Amos Quick, Democratic, District 58, Charles Smith, Democratic, District 44, Julie Von Hafen, Democratic, District 36, and Jeff Zenger, Republican, District 74. Bill status, April 6, 2023, filed. April 10, 2023, passed first reading. And April 10, 2023, referred to calm on appropriations, if favorable, rules, calendar, and operations of the House. About the bill, the government wants to help disabled people find jobs. They will give money to two organizations that help disabled people find and keep jobs. The organizations are called Divisions for Services for the Blind and Vocational Rehabilitation Services. In the next two years, the government will give the organizations a lot of money to help disabled people find and keep jobs. This money will be used to hire workers and pay service providers more money.